the first step in machining these little mini uh, Morris Mini Minor uh, water spaces uh, is to slip the log I've cast into the little bits that I'll then machine into the spaces themselves. I'm doing this rather crudely here with a, an old milling machine arbour, a homemade one at that, onto which I've mounted a circular saw blade. I've got that doing about 100 RPM and I'm just slowly feeding the work into it. Uh, and it seems to be going surprisingly well, much to my amazement. I've mounted a, a small milling vise uh, up with the tool post on the lathe normally goes, as you can see it's uh, bolted on with a crude adapter plate that I made up and here she is, this is one just about to drop off. It's slow but it gets there. And here we go. Lovely. This is the facing of the, the two sides here after it's slit off. Those, uh, the slit sides are very rough. So I face them using uh, this little jig. It's just a couple of notches cutting the, uh, the, the soft jaws of the vise and it sits on a, on a base plate. Give it a little bit of air to start her off. And a little bit of coolant. Here we go. Have a patiently wait while I turn the part over. and then come down a little bit further and do that side. And it's done. Nicely faced off. The parts have now been flattened both sides. Uh, with a side and face type cutter and now the uh, bolt holes are being drilled in them. I've got a bit of semi sort of mist coolant on it to uh, blow the swarf out of the way and give it a little bit of lubricant. And that's another one drilled final machining operation of the little part. A drill down here, we're using a half inch slot drill, interpolate it out to the correct tapping size and then tap a 5-8 uh, uh, UNF thread in there. Uh, just a simple little jig with a couple of pegs, the part locks onto like this. Make certain we've got a bit of coolant here. And away we go.
away we go again. <laughs> 